we can go ahead and go to the insert tab, import an image, but we're going to have to go to a plan view to do so. So we go to the site plan, click import image. We're just going to locate where this image is. And this will be in your course materials if you've downloaded the course. If you're watching this on YouTube, you won't have access to that. But if you want to get access to all of the project files for this course, including this image and some of the other ground floor plans, all of the families and materials I use, feel free to check out the link in the description below to check out the full course on my website. First, we want to rotate this to make sure it's in the right direction. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Put this on the foreground so that we can see it a bit better. So to find the correct angle of the site, I'm going to select one point of the building and I'm just going to use a reference plane to go directly straight up. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. As you can see, now that we've selected that same point, we've got an angle here. Just follow that building wall and it's going to give us the angle of 86 degrees. To create this as 90 degrees, we're going to have to move it four degrees over. So we're going to select the image and rotate it four degrees. That should now be pretty damn vertical. So I'm going to chuck this on the background again. And what we want to do is scale this up to be the exact same scale as that building there. So I'm going to measure this wall and this should be 19,000 millimeters. I'm going to select that image, click the scale button or RE, and then select those two points. And we're going to then bring them out to be about 19,000. And then that should be at the correct scale. We're going to use the move tool to then move this to be directly underneath that point of the building. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as four hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.